We can start off with my man Carmel Moulton. Yeah, Moulton yeah, four yeah. And oh, with the second round stoppage with three knockouts. Mm hmm. As expected, you know what I mean? Guy was like 38 years old. Uh, yeah. He was like nine, eight, and one. But I mean, he just needed an opponent. Again, this is four fight to get stay active. Uh, so I mean, the guy, I mean, the guy was throwing punches back, I guess. You know what I mean? <laughs> I guess it, he made it out the first round. But shit, I mean, as expected, Camille did what he was supposed to do. People be wanting him to fight motherfucking contenders at 3 0. So, yeah, we're at. Right. He looked like he always looked. Uh, I guess I'm waiting on the improvement now because, you know, he is what he is right now. So I guess you're just waiting for every fight just to see the little improvements from fight to fight. Yeah. But, yeah. Like I said, he aggressive. He throw a lot of punches. So I don't really know what this style is going to be like right now. Like, I know he, he fighting off his front foot, throwing a lot of combinations and shit like that. But, you know, when you fight four rounds, you got to let your hands go early because you only got four, four rounds. So it's like you don't really start knowing, like, how they really going to fight and what they style really going to be till they start fighting, like, eight rounders at least when you get more time. No, fact. Cause now you don't want to tire yourself out. You don't want to go blazing, nigga, in the first three rounds, two rounds. Good. Where? Cause that's how. Cause even Tink, like I said, even Tink used to have a higher output. And uh, like I said, the more rounds you get, the more you start to find your style and realize you ain't got to really do all that extra shit. Mm -hmm. Just kind of like how uh, kind of like how Bruce Carrington's starting to do now. Where now he now how he fight the last two fights, it seemed like that's gonna be the style for the most part. He gonna weather the storm. And he's not going to be too active in the first half. Then he's going to try to break it down in the second half. No, no, he a dog, man. I mean, I expect him to do big things at 26. He's only looking pretty right now. Word. We got uh, Abdullah Mason put on a show for the boxing world. You know, most people, most people is on the bandwagon. Most people, I didn't hear, I didn't hear as far as people tell me yesterday, like, he got the best chance at being tank more than anybody in the world right now. So, <laughs> and I ain't going to lie to you. Like, when we talking about straight styles and what you need and the X's and O's, mind you, you know, he ain't in there against nobody who could do nothing. But shit, he could box and he could bang. Like, he could fight off his back foot and his front foot. He hit hard real fast. He meet, got mean intentions. I ain't going to lie, from X's and O's, that don't sound too crazy to me to think I do got the best chance. I ain't even going to talk to you. I mean, as far as style-wise, obviously we wouldn't throw him in there right now. But, I mean, as far as, like, the style you would need to fight Tank, that's an excellent style to do it. <laughs> exactly. That's what I'm saying. That's how I know what people meant. Like, I know he's not ready yet, but they just talking about in terms of the style and how he tries to fight people, that's the type of style you're going to need with Tank. Yeah, facts. Like, <clears throat> that's, the, that's why people – don't really care for the Shakur win right now because, of course, he got the boxing down, but they don't feel like he aggressive enough. A Dubla doing sure. both. A Dubla, Dubla, Dubla would have stopped him. Arthur. No, no, no. Dubla would have got him up out of there. We just got to be honest. He would, Buddy would have been up out of there in six, probably. Where he would have stopped Buddy. <laughs> Buddy would have been said, out of uh, there in six, man. Arthur would have been in there confused as hell. He was confused with <laughs> Shakur. Couldn't hit the man. He was getting frustrated. Where, and like I said, Mason said that after the fight, like he said, you I mean, I ought to stop, buddy. So, and you know, he tried to say it as humble as possible because Shakur, his man, so you don't want to step on his tools. So, you know, he definitely tried yeah. to, you know, not to be as blunt about it. But I mean, most of the what's the take on him though? Because I ain't gonna lie, most of people is like they on board, like niggas is on board with him, like they feeling like how me and you feel about him, like I don't. They they on completely on the bandwagon. He remind me of Boots. That's what he, no, that's what he look he like is. when I'm watching him. That's what he look like. It's like a video game fighter type. No, bro. Like no, he made no. that nigga in the lab and then threw him out there. Just like how Boots look. That's what Mason's starting to look like. I hear video game bro. Like somebody no, just made that tripping. nigga. Man, he out there tripping. Man, he just punching on niggas, bro. He moving out the way. If he need to box, if he being super aggressive, he just box his head off. Like oh, I mean, yeah. it's really nothing. <laughs> I haven't seen nothing nobody could do about it. So Ooh, I don't, uh, they need to start moving him like an Olympian at this point, dog. Facts, facts. I was gonna say, uh, 
I ain't even gonna cap. You can give him a Keyshawn last opponent. Oh man, he putting hands on Buddy too. Uh, he was a tough motherfucker, but I wouldn't be surprised if he stopped him in the late rounds, 10-11. No, oh, he stopped him. He stopped him. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised. He got him up out of there. Boy, mate, or super nine, aggressive. 10, or no, that was a 10 round. So about 8-9. That way he'd be up out of there. Who the who the biggest person uh you think he could beat right now? Who? Uh Dula. Like, what's a what's a good fight for him? Like, but we gotta try to be realistic though. He frying Cambosis. Come on, stop it on a bad day. <laughs> he frying Cambosis. <laughs> Hey, that's a huge name right now. Cambosa on this feud champion. He done fought everybody. He frying Cambosa. Cambosa would never. He would never do that. <laughs> Dude, I'm telling you. I know, Pendy, you're not about to get in the ring for no $100,000. You're not about to fight Mason for $100,000. Nah, you done here. made millions fighting Devin Haney yeah. and Loma. And yeah, you ain't going to do it. But as far as a, na- a Maybe, big name that he could fry right now, he frying Cambosa. He might. He probably uh, fried Berenchek, the motherfucker who got the belt right now. He would cook him. I ain't going. So that's what I'm saying. Like that's what I'm saying. Most people. That's why I said it don't sound crazy when when somebody said what they said that he got the best chance of being tank. Because you got people like you even saying right now, like you think he'll be a world champion if he got a title shot. No, okay. I mean, it's obviously like, I could be wrong because you know, obviously Berent in his own right, he a world champion. He probably got some shit I ain't seen. Yeah. The first thing he's supposed to fight was supposed to be a step up. Yeah. So he fought shit, great I mean, in six. So like he fighting, he fighting niggas who's supposed to be champion at twenty six. I don't even know how he's supposed to beat niggas who's supposed to be champion at thirty five. I mean, who <clears throat> at thirty five right now? Could have gave him Artem. You can give him Art. Honestly, you can give him Keyshawn Davis' last opponent or uh, Shakur Lev's opponent. That young boy gonna stop both of them guys. He gonna do what Keyshawn and Shakur didn't do to their last opponent. No, nah, nah, won't stop me. Right now, I can't. I can't even say. I can't even debate that man because he gonna beat the brakes off. Stop them. Moves. Like I give Keyshawn. I give Keyshawn more. What's saying though? Because that was a that was a fun ass fight. I ain't yeah. Like that. Watch that Keyshawn was hitting him with some bombs too, but he yeah. was just wasn't going down. And boy was like, like I said, he's about to t fucking about the body slam Keyshawn. You seen that one joint when he had him in the air? I said, oh, don't do it to him out here. You on national TV? Do not man. do it. We're gonna have a brawl in this joint. Yo, his people it's, about to hop in the ring on your ass. Oh, <laughs> you crazy. It's, I ain't gonna cat though. You could tell though. He thought about it. Like I should slam this nigga right now while he up in the air like this. Because Keyshawn picked him up first. Remember, he dipped it and Keyshawn lifted him yeah, up. Yeah, yeah. His body strength put him in the air. So as soon as boy got his chance to do it, he did it on some <laughs> extra shit. Like I should run WWE boy right now. Man, because he's key, you know how Keyshawn, Keyshawn probably in there talking shit. Punching on them yeah. and shit. Uh, he frustrated in that bit. No, that's no, that's a fact. But I ain't gonna cap though. Like, like I said, most everybody was deeming Mason top five yesterday. He probably be there. I don't know. He probably get picked to beat Keyshawn Davis right now. On my on my poll, he did get picked to beat Keyshawn Davis. I uh, know. I posted the poll too. Nigga said I got Key. I mean, I got uh Mason, and they saying they got Mason right now. Like yeah, they're not talking about no future shit. They say uh, yeah. I right said now. in the future on my post. I said, how do y'all think about this fight in the future? I made sure to put in the future. <laughs> but niggas talking about right now, they got Keyshawn. I mean on um, Mason. I ain't gonna lie, them niggas. I ain't gonna lie. This might go for everybody. Everybody might could beat him right now for 2024, 2025. 2026. Like I said, I already said it. Like I already I'm cool. I'm cool with being wrong in the future. I already said it. Like, no matter who Mason fight, that's what I'm going to pick him to win, no matter who on the other side. So somebody just had to prove me wrong. Because I'm already sold on Young Man. I just need to to see him get another tough opponent or another step up, as they called it. uh, Another step up fight. It was a step up. Yeah, whatever they want to call uh, it. Boy was a step up in terms of he'd been in there with a lot of talented people yeah. and that Mason wasn't his first talented person he'd been in there with, but that was about it. That was it. It wasn't no step up. Like, I don't know if Boy could beat everybody that Mason ever fought, honestly. Keyshawn, like I said, Keyshawn Davis had a good opponent. I ain't going to lie. He was better than his uh 
His resume is sick. Remember, he was a, he, his he resume. Was a we shitty. looked at his resume and it was shitty, but his yeah. record looked good. But his resume was shitty. Oh, yeah, like yeah. that, yeah. Like he was thirty-one and two, but we seen the niggas he was beating on. So it's like, why well, he had ass thirty-one and two? And I ain't no. gonna cap. He was he was a good thirty-one and two when he actually went out there. No, yeah, real aggressive dude, real tough. Take he take a, a lot of tough shots on the chin and the body, uh, and was still pressing forward. Uh, he a tough dude, man. I mean, I. It was a, he made it an entertaining fight. He made Keyshawn work in there. He made it uncomfortable for him and made him have to work. That was a part of the uh, fight of the night. Yeah, it was just a fun, fun to watch. You know, Keyshawn had to figure him out. He couldn't just go in there and just straight up beat him up in the first two rounds type of shit. Mm-hmm. I thought Keyshawn was going to stop this, though. I thought he was going to use it. I thought Bull was, was being too aggressive. So I thought he was going to get the stoppage because of it. Yeah, I mean, shit, he damn near should have, bro. He was punching the shit out of bro. Bro just wouldn't go down. <laughs> he just wouldn't go down. He was tough as shit, though. Man, he would. He just wouldn't go down, man. He ain't even get, But they said that, too. He ain't never been stopped. But again, that nigga ain't fought nobody. We already looked up his shit. But a couple, I guess the couple losses he got, he would. He never been stopped. Or I don't even think he ever hit the canvas, is what they said. Maybe that's what they said. Yeah, Keyshawn said he wanted to fight everybody but Shakur Stevenson. Yeah, so I just seen the video of him calling out Tank shit. I think he was, he was just talking to, you know how he be, he just talking this little shit and shit, and, you know, talking about, you know, Tank, Tank know what it is. I'm assuming he referring back to that, you know, old sparring and shit. Yeah, he said I sparred him at 16 and 21, never had one problem with him. Yeah, so that's you know that's what I'm assuming he was referring to because he he ain't say but he was like Tank know what it is, but I know that's what you know it's crazy too. That's another thing that make Tank scary because sparring like sparring the the puncher and sparring is different than sparring a boxer. Like whatever you could do to Shakur and sparring, you probably could do that shit in real life, like in the actual fight on live TV. Whatever you could do with Tank nine times out of ten, you can't do that shit because you're going to be taking risks that you know for a fact you wouldn't have took if you didn't have hair gear and if it wasn't 16 ounce gloves. Yeah, fact, but yeah. the shit, how you fight your core and spar him, you're going to fight him the same way in eight ounce gloves. You're still going to take that same risk. You're still going to cross that threshold. When you're fighting Tank, niggas doing shit that I know for a fact they wouldn't dare to even try in real life if y'all got eight ounce gloves on because he a mm-hmm. puncher. But when somebody don't punch, you gonna fight them the same no matter what size gloves on they got. Right, you just more so big yeah, skill. Right. You just more willing to take the risk of them punching your shit. I know. Yeah, it's just really that simple. I just know you're not hitting like that. <laughs> you're just gonna have to show me you can knock the fuck out. Yeah, you're not punching. So that's, that's basically where it go. <laughs> it's really that simple. I mean, you don't got the power, my nigga. And then that's why Earl Spencer got off on Floyd a little bit because it's like. You already don't hit hard, so I like I could take even more risk than what I was going to take the first time. Mm-hmm. But somebody like Pacquiao, you gotta you gotta think twice before you take the same amount of risk you're gonna take in the road fighting in a sparring. You gonna punch the shit out of you? Yeah, man, Williams a Peter. Williams a I ain't gonna lie, he be he be blowing niggas away though who not supposed to get blown away, so that's what make him impressive. He fight niggas that's hard to look good against. Like not not hard to win, but hard to beat. Impressive. Right. He'd be blowing the way. Like he blew the same away. The boy looked the ass against Giovanni Cabrera. And Bosters look ass against Maxi Hughes. Then he blew him away. So they be looking like they be looking hard right against other elite competition. But them boys blowing them niggas away. No, yeah, it was to keep looking good, man. I mean, at this point. Do you kind of give him a title shot, man? A man 31 and no, man. 27 knockouts, dog. I ain't got I mean, no choice but to give him a title shot. I mean, I'm about to say, man, come on now. He look, he pressing these niggas out and he's stopping them. He, he, again, he 30 fights in. I mean, it's the best opponent for Shakur. He getting Shakur getting left out of the route. So the reality of life is he, he going to have to fight everybody else because Tank going to take all his opponents. That's what I'm saying. That's what, uh, that's another thing that makes Shakur look bad because he he won the Loma fight and he won the Tank fight, but Tank not going to give him the fight. And then what Tank going to do, he going to go sit down with Loma. So now I just took the fight that you wanted with me and I took the next best Tank fight. So he going Shakur not going to have no choice but to fight uh, Williams and pay Tank going, everybody going to go try to fight Tank first. You've been seeing that shit. Yeah, you've been seeing that shit that they've been talking about uh... – 
I don't know how true. Obviously, I don't know how true it is, but Kenny Ellis, coach, tank coach, posted it though. But they were talking about uh, Loma willing to take step aside to let him and Tank and Shakur fight. Yeah, I don't believe him though. Yeah, I don't believe it either. Only re only way I can see that happen is like Loma don't want to take that risk and losing my belt right now. I'm gonna let them fight it out, and I'll be one of the last ones standing. Then they gotta go through me. That's the only way I see it being true. It just don't make it just don't make sense because it don't make sense. I didn't. I don't believe it either. Well, Loma, Loma. First of all, it do make sense in terms of like step aside money is literally getting paid to not fight. So like that's <laughs> the easiest money you are gonna make. So I could see him getting paid for to uh, take money step aside, but ain't no way. And Tank got the seven fight deal. You. He probably came and fight Shakur on that first fight, on that first fight deal, because you gotta make your money back first. When you get a seven fight deal, and that shit about to be a ten figure deal, so it's gonna be a hundred million or more dollars. You gotta make your money back first, so he's not even gonna fight Shakur first. I don't know. He probably gonna do the uh the pit. I heard Pitbull was a uh was a backup just in case the Lomachenko should uh fall out. Yeah, I did see that too. <clears throat> And if you see tank numbers, his new average just went up by a hundred thousand. Like I know he wasn't gonna do. That's why I said, bro, they fucked up with Ryan, bro. He was young boy was supposed to bend on pay per view. He did one point two million with tank. Tank never did more than two seventy five before he fought Ryan. Yeah. Then he just did three twenty five after fighting Ryan. That means Ryan literally bought like eight hundred thousand motherfuckers to buy that pay per view out of that one point two, like seventy percent would came there for Ryan. So he could have been on pay per view this week because he, he would have been doing that two seventy five that tank on pay per view to do. Ryan could have been doing that too. Oh man, easy. That's what I'm saying. Like you ain't even got, you ain't, got uh, you ain't even got had the craziest pay per view numbers because Tank and Earl was on there and they was doing two something. And I would not be surprised if Ryan did the same or about 300. Yeah, for sure. He's going to do like, he's going to average four. That's what no I'm saying. Who he, That's who he is. Why they go to Shock? He just reposted this week. <laughs> you said Shock reposted? No, yeah, I put a, on my story. They did they did Shock bold as hell, wrong as hell. He just reposted that bitch. I need to get pissed off. I already know. Shit, yeah, that was. I ain't gonna lie. That's one of the things I wanted to ask you too. I wanted you to tell me, uh, what's the worst robbery than you seen from last night? Cause somebody asked me that, and I couldn't think of one. Yeah, uh, it's hard because sometimes people be like, it's robbery when it really be a controversial, just tough fight, bro. So it'd be hard. But this was a clear robbery, though. So it'd be. <laughs> I text your court cousin. I said, uh, I said you was right, but you was wrong because he picked Rob Kinsigi out to win. So I'm like, technically he won, so you was right, but that nigga shouldn't have won, so you was wrong. Facts. That shit was the bid. It was not close. I said, bro, he beat Ball more convincingly than Shakur just did Arden. Like Arden won four rounds on all three scorecards. Ball Robin won no four rounds. Then you get an automatic rematch. You get an automatic rematch of the fight that now you're not going 11 1 him. He's not going to fight that bad again. What's the chances of him going out there and Cruz controlling Rob Kinsiki out again? Like he just he did. Now he gonna, now Rob going to make adjustments. Now so he's about to make adjustments, and now he really is going to give you a good fight. So it's like, and then if you in your head, it's like, I'm. What's your mindset as a as you thinking like I'm about to I could just go in there and do it again, but you lost. So do you even want to go in there and box him again? Cause you scared you might get robbed again. So you might go in there and get it might get knocked out trying to really beat him the fuck up because they ain't give you the win on the easy, easy type of one. That's exactly what I was thinking about when he said that I can't let it go 12 rounds. Shit. I'm like, bro, now you putting yourself in harm's way. Cause now he was throwing some bombs. He was just missing because you was doing excellent boxing. So yeah, if you I ain't gonna lie, he was. You know what I mean? I ain't see a nigga use a shoulder roll that good since Floyd Mayweather. 
that nigga. I tell you, Shock was using the shit out that like that shit was beautiful. Deep that shit was didn't get hit at all. Brian said nigga used the shoulder roll like that's his Floyd Mayweather like where they Bro, take everything watching. from you off that shoulder roll. Nigga, he ain't nobody use it as as like how he did yesterday. Bro, I was watching that nigga like, bro, I'm trying to take some shit from this nigga. Like, how bro, do you do right, bro, that's it. Everything just hitting here and right here. I'm just like, I'm like, bro, every time I try to do that it. shit, I get punching my shit. How the fuck he bouncing oh, that bitch off the shit. shoulder? That bitch. And then the, the way he was not, bro, it was excellent, bro. It was beautiful. It was beautiful performance. It was crazy. I don't even know what to say. <laughs> I don't even know what to say. Like, I don't even want to fight that nigga again. Just give my belt back. Like, fuck, he don't even deserve no rematch. That's another thing. Then I got to fight a nigga again who didn't even deserve the rematch. Like, he didn't fight well. Like, bro, you was easy money. Like, I had harder sparns than this. Bro, they said that nigga landed 65 or 700 punches. He landed 11% of his total punches, bro. That means what's his name? He missed one out of every 10 punches. Like, come on, man. You can't do that. Ain't no way somebody (laughs) want to fight you when... Like, that's crazy. Shakur got the highest plus minus in boxing, and that's a four to one. So he literally doubled. That night, yesterday, he doubled the highest plus minus in boxing today. Shit, the highest is four to one. That's Shakur. Shakur, on paper, is the hardest fighter to hit in a sport. He literally doubled that stat line that makes Shakur the hardest fighter to hit in a sport. Just for that fight, though. So that show you how much he didn't get touched. Straight up rivalry, man. Shout out to Shock, man. I'm still a big fan of Shock. Uh, I mean, I hope he, I hope they do something, man. Maybe he, because I know he's talking to the WBC. I'm so playing, I'm, I'm playing not to be, not to be still a big fan. Like he didn't man, lose. He didn't lose. He didn't lose. Like, listen, he, he didn't lose. And if I'm Bob Aram, like I don't know. I just hope he tell niggas like. And I want what I was going to get if I got the right decision. And not about to pay me out if I really lost the fight, I deserved the loss. Bro. But that's what's going to happen, though. That's 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 what I thought about when he lost. Because I always tell people, people don't only be scared to lose. They're not, they don't, they're not only afraid to lose the O in the record. If you lose the O in your record, you lose the O from your check. So it would be two O's that they're scared of losing. It don't just be the record O. Mm-hmm. So it's like, that's what I thought about. I said, damn, now your next fight. You gonna get paid as if you lost your last fight when you didn't. Right, but we can't pay you like a world champion. You're not one. We can't pay you like a world champion. You lost your belt. You're not. Yeah, you lost. You're, you're not, not a world robbed, champion. But you're not a world champion. So I'm not yeah. about to pay you like you won. And they get an automatic rematch though. I was about to say you can get it back. I know you don't want to do it, but you can try to get it back. He gonna be the. He gotta do some Devin Haiti shit with Devin Haiti. Uh, a level one Ken Bosos had to go right back at the level one to begin. Yeah. Do some Devin Haiti shit. That's all. 11 1 didn't go back, but Devin beat him up a little bit more the second time. So that's what Shotgun had to do. You could still 11 1 him, just take a little bit more risk, at least the back half. You could go up 5 5 6 over real quick just to put it in there and then start taking more risk. Yeah. That's what Dev did. Dev just went up 5 6, so then he started beating him up. I mean, because I mean, I, 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 do, I do feel like, uh, what's his name? Because they got to make adjustments in the rematch. But I mean, what really? What different is he gonna do? Like I yeah. feel like he fights like said, the same. If he, do, if he do twice as good, it's, it's that means he gonna win two rounds. So it's cool. He could he could come back and do better. I'm about to say yeah. like, like that's I feel like he easy. fights the same way against everybody. It's just he couldn't hit. He couldn't hit him. So it's just, I'm saying he hit Shakur more than he hit Shock yesterday. Yeah, that's all. Shakur gave him more opportunity though. Shakur yeah, walked him. He, he, he gave him the high guard. High guard, yeah, he was high guard all night, so you mean that's why he got more chances. But he didn't. Oh, that, yeah, that was a bad thing. I was a big fan of Shakur defense yesterday. She was masterful. Then, uh, yeah, you got Shakur. He put on a boxing clinic, but you know most boxing fans. Yeah, I, I know. They left. They left the same way they came in. Basically, you mean they wanted to know. <laughs> What I mean, what style you got this one beat tank? Because it get to a, every fighter go through this. Once you get to a certain level, every time you fight, they just imagine that that's tank right there. Basically, so by yeah. the end of that night, they're like, "Oh no, that one that got it done." Exactly. So that's just how they looking at it, and vice versa. Even with tank, that's why tank he looking master for blood water. That probably got it done that night. That, that, right. that was your core right there. That probably got it done. <laughs> that was Shakur it. Put on the performance where it was like, "Yo, that was tank right there. That probably got it done." It's like, right. no, I know you would have lost. Basically. 
that's how people looking at it. Again, beautiful performance. Uh, obviously, when he got a guy like that who can't hit him, uh, and he just catching everything, I would like him to counter more and let his hands go more. But again, beautiful defensive performance. He walked him down. He sat there in front of him. He had Artem running. Artem was talking that track star shit. He had Artem on his back foot. <laughs> Yeah, he don't know I cut the ring off though, so he started chasing Arden. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and like I said, it's a. I I didn't like that, and he was arguing with his grandpa. Exactly. He told his grand. He told his grandpa. This was stuck out to me outside the big ring. He told his grandpa, "But if a fighter want to survive, they gonna survive." And then he went out there like five seconds later. So once he said that, I'm like, well, "Why are you out of it mentally? You're not even trying to hear what your grandpa said." Yeah, man. Cause that's literally that's literally what he was telling us when everybody was like, "Yo, cause remember I came back and I said, now that I think about the Elwin De Los Santos fight, you fought Shakur, it was a good performance after, but I came back and I said, no, fuck that, like that wasn't a good performance by Elwin, cause if somebody told you Shakur was gonna have his worst night in boxing, you gotta capitalize on that night. You ain't do that. You ain't sell out. When Shakur wasn't even being aggressive, you supposed to sell out. You ain't sell out." And that was the same way with Shakur. That's what he was telling us. Like, no, he ain't catching me because he couldn't. He couldn't catch me. Like, it's not called running. It's called it's called boxing. Then he get in there and talking about Autumn keep running from me. It's like, no, nigga, that's what you just said. His last fight because it's called boxing. He's not gonna let you. He's not gonna stand there for you to beat him up. <laughs> no, thanks. Catching him like the fuck. Boxers yeah. get punched in the face all their life. For them, like, it's a difference between beating somebody up and then beating them up to the point where they're like, I don't want to fight no more. You got to really put hands on that boxer because they've been getting punched in the face all their life. So just beating them up, not going to cut it. You got to want to hurt them. Shakur just ain't had a temperament to want to go get it. Facts. I mean, it is what it is. You know how we is. We big Shakur fans. We we got him over tank. But that performance. Yeah, I'm right? still picking Shakur, but, yeah, but that, I know be- that that's me baking on shit that, that's not on, that's not out there, though. It, it, and that's pretty much what it is. We just hoping he. And again, when he got somebody on their back foot, letting combos go because he got the skill to do it. He just, I don't know, he was putting a lot of mental pressure on him. Uh, I don't know, man. I don't know. Good. I still, again, I still like the performance. I'm a big fan of boxing and defense. So that's why I like the performance. You feel me? Because it was just a defensive masterpiece. So that's, I, I, I enjoyed it. But, I do understand what people are saying. And, again, I do think he, he got to get more aggressive and let his hands go because he could have stopped that guy, man. He could have stopped him. He could have got him out of there. You just got – you got to because, because like, I don't, you're not going to – if you can't do it against Artem, it's like nobody going to think you're going to do it against Tank or – Yeah, yeah. Even, you, that, even, that Loma, even that Loma Chango fight looked pretty interesting now than what I thought it was because you, you hold your hands them first four rounds. Loma going to be punching on you. Yeah, facts. He's not so gonna even now, there. that's the core and Loma fight, not as wide as I thought it was after his last two performances, because he he waiting right now. Right now, his last performance, he waiting on niggas a lot. You're not supposed to do that. And if you're going to wait on Loma, like, he, he going to take it. He going to be beating you up. Yeah, he going to yeah, jump right in your face. He, in, he got to jump to you. So that's exactly what he going to do. Press you. Press you out and just throw little shit, pity pats and shit, little shit you're not even going to be expecting. Word. You know, I, I, I be thinking about it because Loma sell out on everybody who don't hear her. Oh man, I'm in my head, like he might just sell out on Core, honestly, and make Core like that'd be the night Core really had to show us what he got because Loma gonna feel he gonna catch him in the glove and be like, yeah, oh no, I'm selling out. <laughs> yeah, we <we're> going <laughs> selling out, brother. Yeah, That's we're it. To, yeah, we got the scrap, bro. We gonna have to show me something tonight, then. Fuck it. His sellout is different because Loma got the most skillful sellout I ever seen. Like most niggas sell out, they just being real aggressive. His shit is his shit is as cogulated as you gonna be selling out. <laughs> no, like, no bullshit. That's what makes his shit scary because he he going all in, but his shit, everything's still cogulated. Girl, everything is off an of angle. Everything is real sharp. It's just different. He's selling out while his head is still moving. Most niggas yeah. sell out. Like the bull right fucking Sean, he was selling out, but his head was right there. So whenever yeah, Sean right decided here. he was going to let his hands go, he was going to punch on the ball. Loma selling out, and he still being hard to hit while he's selling out on him. Yeah, man, no, Loma not playing, man. That that's 
again, that like you said, that that makes this fight a lot more interesting. Because even if Shakur walking him down, that's what Loma do wanted you to do anyway. He's gonna press you out anyway. So I mean, it's 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 an interesting fight, man. And you're not gonna move. You're not gonna Loma not gonna chase you. He going he know how to cut the ring off too. That's yeah. another thing. If you go in like Edwin De Los Santos, you're not getting he not chasing you around the ring. He know how to cut the ring off. You're not about to outstep me, or you not about to out pivot or try to pivot you. Is you gonna have to sit there and fight at some point? That's what Devin had to do. Devin had to sit there and fight that man a few yeah, times. Had fight him. Tio had to sit there and fight him. <laughs> yeah, it was like he made the he already showed no matter who you with. And like I said, even them people, Tio got the most respect out of him and Orlando Cerrito just because they was punching. That's why he sold out on Dev more than he even did Tio. And whenever Loma sell out, he get the best of you. Like even in his losses, whenever Loma decide, like I'm just like I don't give a fuck if he knock me out, he just knock me out, and he just go. He beat niggas up. Like when he decided against Tio, like round seven, eight, it was too late because Tio was in there up six one. But from eight to twelve, he just was like fuck it, mm, just sell out. I don't got no choice. And when he did that, I'm like damn, bro, you could have could have been selling out this first half. We been beating him up, like. He was making on Teal to be young and making the uh to die down and shit like that. Oh man, now, yeah. Shout out to Loma, man. My man 35, 36. He make me, he making me feel like he LeBron out here, man. Fuck. He hey. I fuck with Loma, man. That's no. LeBron in boxing right now, man. He's still around. I mean, like I said, him and taking uh negotiations, so yeah, we're gonna I love to see that too. It's press against press. What you gonna do? You can't. What you you gonna hold your hands for the first five? Yeah, he gonna lose them rounds, but he cool with that though. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, that's, he cool with that. But that's what I'm but saying he, too though. Loma might not be Loma might be the wrong nigga to let it get in a group too and think you just gonna get up and just be yeah. like, all right, time to shut that off. It might not be like as easy. So, but like I said, Tang got high IQ, so he probably won't let it get to that. He probably gonna fight him. I mean, Loma gonna first. He, he gonna catch on to it like okay, okay. Yeah, I'm gonna have to just knock him out right now. Yeah, yeah. that's what's gonna make that fight interesting because Tang gonna let his hands go a little early, but he gonna do it just because he know he's gonna. Loma not Loma don't let nobody hold their hands, so it's like no matter who he fight, no matter how good you is, that process of just giving them your high guard and weather in the storm, you're not gonna really do that to Loma. Like I said, you don't really give elite fighters your high guard. You could do that shit to even people that's like at B level, but anybody A level and up, that shit is done for. I mean, if I'm Loma, I mean, he went the tank fight, but I mean, it's still a good chance to that Loma could win just because if Loma win, though, he got to uh, he got to start off fast. Like, he got to cut up and start off like that Frank fight. That yeah, boy Loma, man. Yeah, I mean, shit, tank banking on late rounds anyway. You try to wait till the end, he probably yeah. on the nice. And you got the, and you got the uh, you got the politics that can help Loma now, because you know, another thing, you know, when you the when you the A side, you're gonna get every close round. Well, you know, for the most part, because you know we seen yesterday, but for the most part, you're gonna get every close round, and any round that that's up in the air, they're gonna give it to the person that they know the most. So the up in the air round, that's another reason why I wanted uh Tank to fight Shakur and Loma. Just because all them fights they have that they be close and competitive, I know he getting them close rounds because he's the bigger fighter by far. But if it's up in the air rounds with Loma and Shakur, Shakur and Loma might be big enough and might have enough politics on their side to get some of the rounds that your other opponents was never able to get in close mm-hmm. rounds. And that's mm-hmm. enough. Like I said, he ain't fight nobody with that, that bring their own aura to the table. Like, when he was fighting Frank, like I know everybody they all worry about what, what Tank done in his career and how he stopped people and just everybody letting you know it's the Tank show. When he fight Loma and Shakur for the first time, like he gonna know it's another nigga in that other room. They got their own world and he gonna be for the first time wondering, just like how they do. <clears throat> No, yeah. <clears throat> again, well, you pair up with them three, it's kind of well, with Tank. I mean, it's kind of a different kind of story. But again, we well, yeah, have Shakur and Loma. It's like, yeah, vice versa, nigga. This other nigga is really that deal for real. Like, 
that's probably what it kind of was with Devin and him. Kind of, you know what I mean? Devin feel like he the shit. He know Loma the shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's like I, I compare it to like the Bud and uh the Bud and Errol Spence fight is uh that was the first time but I said that was the first time that I heard whispers that I was going to lose. That's what I'm talking about by somebody that has their own Earl. The day Tank signed a contract for Loma, Shakur, it's gonna be the first time in your life that you're hearing whispers that you might lose. And same for them. No effects. Well, not Loma, because <laughs> Loma didn't fought everybody, so he yeah. didn't really got them whispers out there. But for Shakur, it's gonna be the first time that you're hearing whispers that you might lose. And Bud was just talking about how unnormal that shit was. Cause like nobody ever thought, like I said, Bud had a nigga eating in his house who thought he was gonna lose. It's just like, you mean, I still love you, game, but you're going by what I've seen on TV. <laughs> so it's like, so that's going to, this is going to be the first time where not everybody that you know actually think you're going to win. Like everybody fought. You got a hundred homies, all hundred going to think you're going to win. When you fight your current loom, you're going to have a couple that's in their heart. I'm like, ah. <laughs> And that's what Bud was. He was there, niggas, for the first time. Like, I, I don't know. Earl, the truth, gang. I ain't going to cat to you. Man. <clears throat> Man, that shit, once this, starts, once this shit get the rolling, it's going to be real interesting. The start, this is the start, though. This Frank, I'm mean, not Frank, but uh, Tank and Loma shit, this is the start. <laughs> no, no cat, though. He about to give, you know, he about to, you know, everybody on the chopper block for Tank. I mean, he about to start getting everybody out of the way. Yeah, Save the best for legs. Time, huh? Shakur about the uh well he turned down the five fight fifteen million dollar deal. Yeah, it's time where he about to sign he too, man. To go. go talk to Turkey Ali. Turkey Ali. All right, now you got is was that a bad drum? Fifteen M sound real good to me. But I no, mean bro. <laughs> 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 no, bro, you can't answer it like that, bro. <laughs> okay, okay, yeah. I'm gonna take my personal feelings out of it, man. Let me take my personal feelings out this shit. Yeah. Three million dollars per fight for the next five fights. That's probably two and a half years. That's over six months. So yeah, for like, because yeah. now it's a bad. It be because now when you turn down fights like this, when you turn down them deals, we're going to actually see if it was if you turn because, like, me asking you, was it bad to turn it down? Like, we're going to actually get our real answer soon because he's going to fight five times. If you didn't make 15 million, then that was a bad job, which you did. If you made over, it was a good job. It was that simple. So, we're going to see, but I'm in my head, like, who the fuck is you fighting? Not sign with top rank that's going to give you 15 million dollars, though. Literally, only tank. You're not getting that tank fight though, so like we know that is. <laughs> I mean, I'm about to say literally only tank. Yeah. Right. And you know that's a six seven fight deal. You know you fight four or five, so that's like two years from now. You could have got them fights out. That's what I'm saying. Tank gonna make you wait two years anyway, so I don't understand why he didn't take the five fights. You got them five fights. Let I me mean, get that 15 M's real quick. Or maybe like I said, it's only gonna be smart if he, like I said, in his next five fights, if he make 15 or more, then it won't matter. Yeah, I mean, Eddie just gave Boots 3-5 for one fight. Maybe he fuck around with Eddie and get four for five fights. I ain't going to lie, yeah, Eddie definitely going to come knock on the door. And, yeah, you just got, and you just got exceeded. Like, I'm pretty sure somebody going to do like, all right, fuck it. I do five five fights, 20 million, just give you extra M each fight. Yeah, facts. I, I mean, see somebody doing that. I'm about to say, Eddie literally just gave Boots 3.5. Shit, gives your core four fight. Fuck it. Because, honestly, you can get a nigga 50 million if you think he's going to beat Tank. That's the whole thing about it. Like, if you think he's going to beat Tank, you would give him whatever you want. Because he's going to, whoever beat Tank is going to be the man. That's why David went to Canelo fight. Because no matter who David beat, you're not going to be that guy in terms of the public and like being, being not only known to just hardcore and known to the casuals. Unless you beat Canelo, it don't matter what you do. You could never not lose for the rest of your career. You're not going to be as big as what you would have been if you beat Canelo and did not lose for the rest of your career. Even if you fucking around lose to Canelo and then never lose again, you're probably not going to be as big as you would be if you yeah. just never lost and never fought her. Cause that's, yeah, I mean, if you enter around that weight class and you any elite level fighter, 
that's the fight we want to see at this point. I mean, it is what it is. That's the only fight that's going. That's what I'm saying to to get what they make. You have to beat them. You can't. It's hard to fight your way into a 50, 60 million dollars a fight type yeah. of John. You got to beat the nigga who didn't fought his way there. It's like because it's going to be hard. It's only literally Canelo is the third highest paid boxer of all time. So like the chances of you being that even beating everybody is going to be hard to see. So to do it, you got to just beat him. Mm -hmm. Same with Floyd. Even Floyd did it. That nigga was. The number two pound for pound fighter in the world, and he's watching other niggas get paid more than him. The day he didn't watch people get paid more than him was when he did what? Who the nigga that make forty million a fight? I'm just gonna whoop his ass, and that was De La Hoya. And He was money man ever since. Same with Bud. Spence was the money man. Nobody knew Bud. Everybody know him now because you you beat up the money man. He was already winning every fight. They still mm -hmm. didn't know him. Has to beat that guy who make all the money. So only way niggas go, you gonna take his paydays in the future and get his notoriety. You're not gonna do it, even if you just happen to just beat everybody and not lose. Won't get bigger, obviously, but to get as big as that person, you probably gotta beat him.